Hey everyone, uh, this is Christopher Ellis with Pragmatic Works. I'm a senior principal consultant over here. And uh, just want to talk about today's Azure Everyday session. Today we're going to talk about uh, Power BI Embedded. Uh, there's a lot of confusion about this, you know, mystery product, if you will, from Microsoft, right? So everybody's very, very familiar with Power BI Desktop and Power BI Cloud and Power BI On-Prem. Now Embedded, really what it's there is it's to allow your company to embed the dashboards and reports in your in-house developed application without requiring your users to have Power BI accounts. So you only need one Power BI account in order to have a Power BI embedded environment. So let's talk through some of this, right? Um, it's, it's an Azure service that is separate from Power BI Premium or Pro and built for compute rather than per user like the other iterations of Power BI. Um, the, with Power BI, you're going to focus, it, the design is to focus on your applications and your customers as opposed to the management and maintenance of things, right? So once you set up your Azure tenant, um, you've got some options there. You can use your existing tenancy. Um, you can use a new app um, tenant um, you, for the new app. You can create a tenant. You can create a tenant for um, a specific customer. Uh, so even though you, you've got multi-tenancy, you can set up customers with their own Azure tenancy. Um, and then once you set up, decide, determine what model you want to use there, then you go ahead and register your new Azure AD application with your Power BI embedded. Um, next thing you're going to do is you're going to set up that um, single Power BI account. And then if you want to have some accounts for development or something like that, then that's the only reason you would need other accounts. Um, and then really, it, it's, it's pretty straightforward to get up and running in, in basically three steps, right? So you're going to set up your Azure um, Power BI embedded environment within Azure. Um, you got to set up your tenant. you got to set up your user requirements and do those kinds of things. Um, that you set up your workspaces. Um, and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to... Um, Set, embed your content, right? So you're going to go back to your own backend. You're going to set up your application. You're going to have it connect to Azure through the REST API uh, that Azure provides. And it's all very, very secure. It's encrypted traffic going over SSL. Um, and you're using the authentication when you're displaying your reports and dashboards in um you're using your backend application authentication system as opposed to having to use uh, the Azure authentication system. And then lastly, you're going to re re release your reports and dashboards to production. Um, you, you need to determine what those compute requirements that you are, uh, that you are in need of. Uh, and then you set up your, your tiered pricing, uh, pick your plan, and, uh, and away you go. So if, uh, if you're interested to hear more about this or if you're just struggling to get it going, uh, feel free to reach out with us. Um, click the link below. We're happy to help out. Have a great day.